This is how to make clipping masks using Silhouette Studio software. You can use clipping masks for a few different type of projects. One thing we use clipping masks for is these backsplashes. That was made with a clipping mask. Another thing clipping masks can be used for is pattern filled letters or pattern filled shapes. Let me show you how to use a clipping mask. Start by opening up a digital background pattern. A JPEG file or a PNG file works best for this. And you can see I have my shape of my backsplash already opened. This is just a silhouette shape that I like to use for backgrounds. Place your silhouette shape on top of your digital background pattern. If your shape is behind this digital background, right click and select bring to front and that will bring your shape to the front. Then you will select both the background and the silhouette shape and go to your modify panel and select crop. And that will cut your digital background pattern into the shape of your silhouette. You can do this with any shape. You can also do this with letters. Let me show you how to do that. To make a pattern fill letter, open up your digital background pattern, then select your top tool and type your text. Then adjust the size of your text. And I like to go ahead and fill that letter and remove the red cut line. And now if you would like to change your font, you can do that. Once you have your text looking like you want it, let's adjust this background pattern to fill up the text. And then select your text and your background and go to the modify panel and select crop. And that will fill your letters with the background pattern. If you would like to add an outline, you can do this by going to your line style panel and select the color and then select the thickness. And that will give you an outline. Now let's make a pattern filled shape using this digital background. Go to your shape tool, choose your shape, Now place your shape over your background pattern and then let's fill it with a color and let's remove the line color. Now select both the background and the shape. Go to the modify panel and select crop. And now you have a pattern filled shape. You can do this with any shape, any silhouette type design, or any type of letter. And this is just a fun way to add some background patterns to shapes and letters using the clipping mask method.